Hello everyone, and welcome back to RuneScape. So today we're going to be trying to rush through the final Elite Dungeon in less than an hour, because once again I'm on a time limit. But uh, to start things off, we're going to do something that I keep forgetting to do, and it's really stupid because it's wasting time. I keep forgetting to upgrade my dang town hall. We've finally maxed out all the resources, which is really kind of stupid to do. But there we go, we have upgraded the town hall, we have a whole lot of money left over in leaves, hides, and clay. So obviously we can go ahead and make sure that we are spending appropriately. I had them all in hides because it was the last one to hit 80. But yeah, let's get this back to a more logical number so that we can at least be making progress on these. And I'll look into it more on a better day. There we go, we got Top Town Hall. All right, so now we need to head on up to the Shadow Reef. I'm gonna take the lazy route, which is just home teleport to Prif, um, portal to Damonheim, and then run over there. Easy peasy. Easiest of the three to get to, in my opinion. It's been crazy doing three episodes, three days, each of them being long episodes, but we're getting through this. I'm not sure what day the quest episode for Curse of the Black Stone will come out. It might have to wait until Monday, Weekends aren't the best days for me to record usually, but if I can, I will record it on Saturday. It just depends what happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and run on over here. You know what I just noticed? That for some reason we only have one air rune. Not entirely sure how that happened. I'm really not, actually, because I don't think I deposited and, with and withdrew... Wait, what am I doing? I need to bank. I don't think I deposited and withdrew my... Uh... Did I run out of air runes, or is it glitched? Oh, it's glitched. What? Did we, like, discover the perfect amount where it glitches out? Is, like, 7131 just a glitchy number? That is so weird. I have never seen that happen before. Oh, well. Uh, you win some, you lose some, I guess. And in this case, we lost some minutes. Do a weird, weird glitch. But, oh well, as long as we actually do have 7,000 air runes and not one, then I'm fine with it. I did think it was weird that it didn't have a one, and also that it had happened in the first place, but, you know, whatever. So we did do an episode, I believe, showing off the first section of the Shadow Reef up until the boss where I died quickly. So this is going to not be completely new. See, it still has to reset the Dragon, um, the Dragonkin Laboratory, or Laboratory, if you want to say it like that even though we definitely beat it. I don't know what all that's about. Once again, I forgot to like recharge my prayer and stuff, so we'd better get started on that. All right, so here we are in the cool underwater area where you don't have to breathe or anything. You figure out how to breathe under here in the actual quest. That's how the timeline works. You know, things we will figure out in the next episode, assuming that it gets out in a reasonable time frame, which it should. Oh yeah, this is easy. Compared to normal mode, this is nothing. Those things actually deal pretty good damage when you're outside of this mode, but this is just simple. You know what, we can go ahead and switch over to this and deal with groups. I think that would be good. Get rid of all these Crassian Scuddlers that just kind of exist. They do deal pretty good damage, despite being weak. Being scary how dangerous everything is in Elite Dungeons. Uh, but anyway. So yeah, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about after doing this much content in such a short time period. Not much has happened in my life. You know, I got a new microwave. Haven't used it yet because I'm recording this instead of eating. Um, it's a good plan, I know. Eating is for chumps, right? Who needs to eat? Not me. Yeah, I mean, not most, much else has happened on that front. I know there's another, um, another developer leaving Jagex, which is unfortunate. This, this time, the first one was, he was the guy who did the boss streams. The second one, I believe he's one of the mobile developers, which is kind of weird that they would be getting rid of him, assuming that it wasn't his choice. I don't really know what that's about. Especially when mobile's not even out yet. But oh well. 
Anyway, we'll just go ahead. You know what? We're gonna run on. I don't feel like dealing with these guys. We're just gonna continue on and get rid of these two scouts and their cloaked zealots and all that. Especially these cloaked zealots. We know how much trouble they can be. So we're just gonna get rid of them right away. If I really do want to beat this in an hour, and I kinda have to, then I cannot be wasting time fighting unnecessary Crassians. So let's just try to do things properly. Oh, please tell me. Dang it. I hope I just have to beat a couple of these guys here and don't have to beat everything. Come on, we can do this. Yes, okay. Continuing on. Then there's going to be this wall with all these zombies. Don't know which zombies we have to beat. We'll just beat them all up. And be too hard. They're only level 107 after all. Weird noises coming from these Crassians. I guess it's their walking noise or something? I don't know. Now, the last time I was in here messing around, it seemed like just killing a random amount of zombies opened the door. I don't know if they're just, like, specific ones that count or what. Or maybe I just killed all these ones first on accident. But I'm pretty sure there were still zombies left whenever the door opened. Could have been one of the other doors. There's multiple zombie doors. So who actually knows what is going on? Alright, get out of here. So yeah, I guess the unfortunate thing, though, is that I thought things at my job were finally going to calm down and that I'd have like more time to record and stuff because, uh, you know, things were finally going to be peaceful and I wouldn't have to um, keep working long shifts and stuff. But, uh... One of the people in my area is put in his two weeks notice on my days off this week. It always seems to happen on my days off. I don't know what happens when I'm not there for that to always be the case. But I mean, his, I kind of knew might happen because he was having scheduling conflicts due to college. But still, it is unfortunate because we have re really a hard time finding replacement people. It took us literally months to find the current team we have, even though it's only a few people. And now uh, we're going to have to start looking again, which is less than ideal. Okay, I should probably turn prayer off so that we can save up our prayer real quick, because here we are at the first boss. Less than 10 minutes to get here. That is ideal. I think that's faster than the Dragonkin Laboratory. Which is what we want to see. So this guy, he's not too bad, I think. I mean, in uh, normal mode, he's dangerous. Like, if you stand right there and he uses his attack, you just, like, insta-die. So you have to know when to react, and if you mess up, you're doomed. But anyway, uh, I guess we'll just go in here and fight him? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's story mode, so we should be able to do this just fine. I have seen the dead walk, but never so brazenly. You are rotting before my eyes, and your presence here only hastens your decay. Yep. It is for mercy's sake that my pet kills you now. You would not like the world I am creating. I was so busy focusing on how loud he was and getting it out of my ears that I got hit by his poison attack. That was loud. All right, I'm not even using my overloads yet. That probably should change. Okay, wait, you know, he's going that way. For some reason, I thought he would come from this direction that time. I don't know. This is the mechanic I do know. From all these bosses, this is the only mechanic you'll actually see me follow. Not really, but I do actually do somewhat okay in paying attention to that one mechanic over everything else. Let's go ahead and get healed up real quick because the last thing I want is to die. It feels like this is louder than these dungeons should be. I don't know. So he should be coming out the other side, right? Yeah, there he is. Our good old friend. We can just... Okay, yeah. You know, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't stand right here. Oh my gosh, we're stuck in the middle. This would kill you, I'm pretty sure, almost instantly. Like, in two seconds, you would die, sign, and then die again. If you actually stood there when he did that attack. 
Okay, yep, I should probably get to the other side. But that's what, um, whatchamacallit is for. Which I don't have on this. That's right, we're on the wrong thing. That would explain some things. Yeah, that's what this is for. I think that might be why I added it to the bar in the first place. I can't remember. There was something I came up against where I was like, you know what, I need that. It's either that or is just trying to kill the Chaos Elemental and having PKers bind you. Is it luckily not that common of a thing, but annoying enough to justify it. Alright, well we got him down past halfway, that's good. Now if we could just get him dead fast so that we could get a move on here. Okay, so we need to jump across, jump across. Okay. Made it somewhat safely. My problem the first time I fought this boss, the first episode, I think was these guys. I didn't know what to do about them. I thought there would be some secret. Because everyone was like, oh, the Crassian Leviathan, he's not that hard. And then I came in there just like annihilating me. I was like, well, can't even beat the easy bosses. Oh great, I ran into it while it's still damaged. You know, it doesn't seem very hard, but you imagine that 400 damage I just took being 4,000 damage, and it's like, suddenly it sounds a little more difficult, right? Glad that this is just normal mode. I don't know how many times I'd have to practice this. It's kind of hard to practice in story mode, I think, because it's hard to take the damage amount seriously. Like, it's hard to get a feel for it, for like... Well, if I mess this up, I would die instantly, whenever you don't actually die instantly. I suppose that's what the beta servers are best for, is I could play on normal mode in the beta servers over and over. The problem is just getting to the boss is so much effort. Like, sure, I could practice on the boss in the beta server, but, you know, we're talking... 10 minutes just to get to the boss every time. Okay, well, these guys are all hanging around. Do another surge. There we go. Back up a little. I think technically you can just stand out of range of his swipe attack, but you'd be in this poison then. So it's not the best. He's almost dead anyway, right? Can we just attack through this? I think we just attack through this. Come on. I got 190 health left. There we go. Some reinforced bones. Alright, so now where do we go from here? There's got to be a path somewhere. Through Oh yeah, you run through the ship. And you... This is this problem with a lot of their new content. I keep saying is like there's ways you can go that just don't look like ways you should go. Page over there, but I'm not getting it. Whatever. I know we're not finishing it today, so what's the big deal? Alright, so here we got more Crassians. I'm going to ignore these guys because I'm on the time limit. And I would love it if this episode wasn't 50 minutes either. If it was more like, I don't know, 45 minutes. I don't think that'll be the case because the Ambassador is supposed to be the hardest boss of the Elite Dungeons. And uh, even in story mode, I feel like he's probably going to take a little while to beat. So which of these jerks do we have to beat in order to access this door? Let's go ahead and switch to this real quick. We can deal with these groups in a better manner. One of you has to open this door. One of you little jerks up here, right? There we go. Okay. So now we got zombies. We can get rid of the zombies just fine. Ignore all these Crassians, except for when Auto Retaliate gets them. Come on. How many zombies do we have to do? All of them, none of them. Alright. Moving on up. Yeah, okay, trying to think, uh, what else can I talk about? I genuinely don't know. I The problem is I'm recording these episodes right after I wake up. Because I've been staying up really late, so I wake up. And uh, I'm still waking up when I record. It's just not fun. It's not an ideal situation, but the content has to be done. It cannot be stopped. Alright, where are we going from here? Ah, 
Good, we gotta jump. It's perfect because it means they can't follow me. Sucks to be those jerks. I did run out of my uh, overload finally, though. Kinda forgot that I had it active. Admittedly. I know over here there was a mini boss. That's right, I've not been looking for mini bosses. Whoops. You might have missed a mini boss. But yeah, whenever I did this on my main account, there was a mini boss hidden somewhere back here. I think a page, too. Yeah, there's a page here. But this is not where you're supposed to go. Oh, no, it's a raw tiger shark. Oh, whatever. Probably a page over here, then. No, driftwood. Can you light driftwood underwater? I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, well. No mini boss over here. Don't know if we missed one. Don't really care that much. It's just a bunch of tokens. I mean, we got a, a bunch of tokens already, so whatever. Let's not waste any more time than necessary. Get through this door. And we have to go in here. Hey, those zombies didn't even see us. How great. Or they didn't. They're just really slow. Do we even have to fight these ones, I wonder? There is a page here. We'll grab it so that we can at least say we've gotten one page today. That would be nice, right? Especially since there's all these fake out items in this area. So yeah, we already had a few pages, but that's it. Alright, armored zombies must be defeated. They're evil. Blocking our way and all that. Kind of weird how we had two transitions, because first we had a jump, and now we have a temple door to pass through. Alright, armored zombies are going to get lost into the zombie mix here. Let's hope this works. Uh, there's nothing better than that. Whatever this move's called, Corruption Blast. I do like Corruption Blast. Dang, do we actually have to beat all the zombies? Or do we just have to beat the Necromancers? I can kill the Necromancer real quick. They seem to hit a limit of spawning, though. Nice. Summon a skeleton, that means... Oh wait, it opened. Get through! No more wasting time. Alright. We are deeper underwater. And there is stuff here. Or zombies, mostly. Is this going to be another boss fight coming up? Because there was a chest. Still no sign of a mini boss, though. It's fine. Okay, yeah, there's a necromancer. I gotta get used to watching for the necromancers. I admittedly forgot they exist until just now. They couldn't have us go without having more random enemy spawning stuff. So we'll just get rid of all of them, and maybe we'll be fine. At least they do have, like, an identifiable attack methodology. Alright, so we're opening up doors. I feel like the side doors probably don't matter, unless we we're looking for mini-bosses, which we kind of are. I mean, we're 20 minutes in, right? We got maybe time to go do stuff? Probably not. Alright. And then kill off this one. And that might be the last of the necromancers. I don't know. Just die, necromancer scum. But we'll use prayer to finish him off, because he is not dying. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go glance in their rooms real quick, just to see what's there. There's a huge skeleton, but he's not a boss or anything. There is... Oh, right, we have to activate these artifacts. There's an actual thing here to do in this dungeon. Alright, let's go to the other one and activate that one. Look at the amount of stuff that is lining up in a perfect line. Very humorous. Alright, so there's that. Is it only two of them? Hopefully. Yeah, okay. We have solved the puzzle. It was very puzzling. We will grab a waterlogged scrap to celebrate. Okay. Continuing onwards. Oh man, there's another door that's blocked. Oh right, these jerks. We could kill them, but we don't need to. Let's pray her up and get rid of this necromancer before he becomes a problem. Sea horrors. Interesting to have a new type of those. Too bad there's no, like, good place to have them as a task or something. Because then they could have just a horror, um, cluster task. Since there's so many types of them. Okay. 
I'm assuming we just have to kill this guy and we'll be able to go through. But uh, we will find out in a second. Yes, okay. Let's get away from these jerks. This is getting a little excessive. Enlightened Sotopanas. Got multiple pathways. We got the Calgaryon Demons. Over there we have... I'm not entirely sure, actually. Okay, can we kill the Sotopanas, though, please? Before anything else, it would be nice if we did that. There has to be a mini-boss somewhere nearby, right? There can't just not be mini-bosses. Come on, prayer, do your business against this jerk. Okay, so who else we got? We got another enlightened set of Pana here. I, I assume they are the ones that are holding the door shut, unless there's another puzzle going on here. Um, is there any more of them? Can't actually see. Okay, you know what? We're gonna explore around a little bit. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay, but yeah, we'll still explore around a little, just looking for mini bosses more than anything else. Hoping this dungeon's like the previous one where there's two bosses real close together. Because otherwise we may be in a bit of time trouble. Oh great, we got more jerks blocking everything over here. There better be a reason to come over here. The mini boss. I'm gonna be fighting all these jerks. I'm just gonna fight this one for now. Wow, he actually lived. Get out of here. Okay, who all is in here? Anyone worth taking note of? Really, nobody. Is just scraps over here? I mean, whatever. I guess let's continue on downwards then. Down the old stairway. The army that we have following us is just excessive. Good thing they're slow. Okay, so we got these guys here. I don't think we necessarily have to fight them. So maybe I'll just ignore them. Alright, the sea horrors though, we definitely have to fight. 100% definitely. I think the Calgaryon demons respawn actually if you kill them. I believe that is the case. I like how like crocodiles and stuff respawned in the first one. But I could be wrong on that, you know. Just guessing. Well, I'm gonna turn my prayer off because I'm draining it for no good reason. Can you guys let go of me? Stop that. Alright, so is this the way we're supposed to go? No, apparently not. I've just opened up an unnecessary route. Very maze-like, this reef. And I don't actually know it that well. Alright, it must be this way then? I have no idea. Um... Is it like you can run over this again? Yeah. I think. No? We cannot. Okay, then what is the point of this? Wait, does that mean the upper route was the way we're supposed to actually go? And this was the side route? That is just crazy. I am just lost. That's all there is to it. I was lost as that guy. He's just standing alone in a room, staring at a scrap of paper sitting on the floor for his entire life. Anyway, let's go ahead and head on down here, because I assume this is the way we're supposed to go, considering the other way didn't pan out. There is a door blocked here, so that's a good sign. Ah, there is a chest, too, so there's probably a boss in here. Yeah, that's definitely where the second boss is. I can't remember if this follows the pattern of the other ones, where the second boss is kind of the easiest one. I feel like it might. I don't remember much about this guy. He's an undead dragonkin. I can tell you that much. Okay, who do we have to kill to access this boss? There we go. Alright, so we want to get in here fast. Okay, that was not at all what I wanted. But yeah, we want to put some distance between us and everyone else so that when the fight starts, they're blocked out. You charge there. only to your death, and death is my speciality! In my volume get messed up. And add yourself to my collection. Oh, voiceover is set really high. That would explain it. I was wondering why the voices were so dim. Okay, do we have to kill these? I have no idea. We can kill them, for sure. It's just a question of should we? 
I mean, if something can be killed, it's probably a good indication that you should. I hope his voice isn't too different from the volume of my voice. That's my goal for voiceovers, is to have him be fairly close to my voice, so that um, you can hear them fine. There's just so few voiceover things in the game, I didn't realize my voiceover setting was so loud. Yeah, glad I realized that before the end of this dungeon, because I think all three bosses have um, voice acting. I shall not fall. Oh, we have to kill the stuff. I, I do remember this conversation, he says this stuff a lot. It gets a bit tiresome, really. Oh, well, I mean, we're making progress. I should probably drink my overload. I'm forgetting that today. Hell, I'm too tired to be doing this stuff. Help with keeping my prayer up, too, if I would have done that earlier. Oh, well, I mean, it's not like we're taking much damage. Alright, so we definitely want to kill the Rift and then kill all his servants, because he'll heal off of them, and that is not desired. This is where the speed comes in, because the faster you kill his rift, the less undead there are. Yeah, calm down. Alright, there we go. He took out all his little friends, now we can deal the damage. Yeah, this guy's not very hard. You just have to remember what to do. I know he does fly around at some point. I do remember reading that. We got a line of people up if you look on the mini map. I shall not yeah. Yeah, we get it. There, now he's flying. Whoa. Yeah, now they're reusing people from. Uh, that terrible, terrible event that I was a part of. I mean, I, at least they get some usage out of them, right? Giant zombies. I don't know, have they used the largest ones for anything yet? I can't remember. Might make sense to make a little boss out of those ones. Be interesting. Alright, definitely want to deal with this. Yeah, this guy doesn't have that much health, but he does heal. I don't think there's any avoiding it either. Be my puppet and bind yourself with my strings. Come on, we have to deal with these guys before he heals. Oh wait, there's still one over here? Get out of here. Alright. Let us try this again. Hopefully this time we actually kill him. He doesn't just over heal again. Fall. Death is the I, I could head on over to the wiki, though, and figure out if there is any special strategy for this boss. Uh, Terraket the Necromancer. I don't really have to pay attention to him, so... Um, I miss whatever I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do this. Prayer back online. Alright, so giant spawns. It's. Okay, so he destroyed the crystal so he can't use it again. But he's going to use the other crystal now. And now he is healed up again. Oh, so here's the big one. Okay. Yep, this is the guy I was talking about a minute ago. Good stuff. Let death take you. Fall and rise again as my plaything. Yeah, I should probably get out of his death swiftness. Assuming that's what that is. That's what it looks like, at least. Alright. Get rid of his skeletons. Don't want him healing off of them. So now he can no longer spawn giant zombies or uber heal anymore, so... I shall not fall. Now it should be as simple as just dealing damage, killing the rifts. He's gonna use another move at some point that we've not seen yet, but you know. Overall, we're through the worst of it in my opinion. Because we don't have to do over anything. Definitely a long fight here. 
get out of here. Dance, my puppets. Dance. <laughs> I wonder where the Rift of Undeath leads to. We should just jump through it and escape. What's the worst that could happen? Let death take you. Okay, that worked. Fall and rise again as my plaything. Killed all those guys pretty easily. I don't even know what happened there. Oh, you know what? I never did this. Let's have a space in my inventory. It's definitely time to spawn the bunyip. Cranon cannot be stopped. The ritual cannot be Alright, so here's this. It does a lot of damage, but it didn't even look like it really hurt us. So that was fine. Oh, another one. Yep, story mode, who cares about mechanics? That is the rule. Okay, we do care about this one though. Anything that prolongs the fight is annoying and must be dealt with. Dang it, we got corruption on a, quite a cooldown, unfortunately. Come on, use this, please. The problem is if you instantly kill something, then you don't get the corruption effect always. So it seemed to work. Alright, we're almost there. You can almost stop listening to him repeat the same dialogue over and over. I'm sure it's a little less annoying if you can kill him faster, because then you don't hear it as many times. But I've heard it a lot in the few times I fought this guy. Like, literally only twice. Okay, well, he's gone. He didn't drop us any bones or anything, because he's a dragonkin. Not a dragon. Alright, continuing on, we got Undead Witch. Don't really know what their story is. They're a witch, they're undead. Alright, we got 30 minutes to beat the rest of this dungeon before I run out of time. Can we do it? I almost definitely think we can. Not too concerned, one boss, 30 minutes. Why not? Even if it is the hardest boss. And I don't actually know the mechanics at all. Which is unfortunate. I can look him up. He's got unstable black hole, he's got energy barrage, sinister fragments, he's got all sorts of things. Oh, well, we do have a free death, you know? That is good. Okay, so we do actually have to kill something here. I don't know if it's the demon or what. We have a benefit against demons, so hopefully it is. Not ah, well, we just, there we go, all right. There's a mini boss finally. Um, who is the mini boss? Yorgar the Deceiver. We will deceive him into thinking that he has a chance of winning. It's prayer against him. All right, he's talking the storm up. He thinks we care about what he has to say. Couldn't be further from the truth. What is this up here? Ah, uh, giant jellyfish. Flipping into the camera. Got it. Wait, what's the inside of that? Ooh, inside of a jellyfish. Anyway, back to the boss. This rude jellyfish just wants to get in the way of the camera. I'd have to do this. It just feels wrong to view it from this angle. I don't know why, but it does. All right, this guy is really taking a while to kill. I don't know what the deal is with him. I suppose I could switch back to my group fighting stuff, but I don't think we need it as much for this section. I feel like the group stuff is behind us. Could be wrong there. Could be that there's still 5,000 zombies coming up. Come on, Yorgair, die. This is like the slowest mini boss to kill in the world. Okay. What is all the fireworks for? Do you get fireworks when you kill a mini boss? Or was there something? No? Yes, you do. I had no idea. All right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here. We don't care about these guys. We need to figure out where we're going. I assume down here. This appears to be the only way I can see to go. Hey, another mini boss. We knew they had to be around somewhere. Oh, we got the Magister. I don't know if he's always here or what. He was here, I think, the last time that I made it this far on my main account when doing Curse of the Black Stone. Okay, you know what? I should probably kill the Necromancer. That would be a good idea. I should also probably do this. 
Right, well, summoned zombies probably don't matter for this. Do we have to kill these guys over here then? Maybe. Get to Oreb. I mean, he's on the path to go forward, so we have to find a way through. There we go. Alright. Oreb, prepare to be defeated. Someday I would like to fight the Magister for real, but for today this will have to do. Yep, that's how I am. I mean, Oreb is pretty clearly a bad guy. Yeah, well, we will kill him now, so that's something. But yeah, he has some um, Voldemort style regenerative capabilities. He has something similar to a Horcrux, I believe, which is why you killing him here. Does not get rid of him forever. It's amazing, you know, a boss with actual lore for why you can kill them multiple times. Isn't that strange? Definitely out of the normal for this game. Yeah, I've always wanted to fight the Magister. I've just never had the Slayer level to do it. I meant to do it in the beta, since you can max out your Slayer. But I've just not gotten around to it. It's hard to justify time in the beta for me, just because... That's time I could be, you know, actually training something. If my only goals left were bossing, then I might be more inclined to spend time in the beta doing that sort of stuff, but I have so many other goals I'm still working on on this account. You know, we got 99s to get, quests to do, Dominion Tower to raise up. So I'm taking a lot of damage here. Even with the boosts, I'm in trouble, actually. How am I taking this much damage? Who here is so strong? Is it the witches? Oh, we've almost gotten rid of him. He's a very annoying guy to kill. There we go. I'm getting out of here. These guys are crazy. Is this the path forward? Yeah, it is. Got another necromancer here. Please be the only thing I have to kill for this portal. I do not want to be fighting 5,000 things. Dang it. What else do we have to kill? Um, these are summon skeletons, so they don't matter. We will kill this necromancer, then. Maybe he will be the key to the door. It'd be nice if you could, like, right-click the door and do, like, highlight or something, and it would, like, flash a glow around everyone you have to kill. Oh, we got it. Okay. That'd be a useful feature that I just thought of right now. Um, uh, what do we have to do? Is this, like, a jump area? I don't, I'm not seeing a jump option, but clearly there's something we have to do here. I can't run over here. Oh, wait, there it is. I thought it looked like a place. They need to work on that click box. That is way too tiny. Alright, here we are, down here. It's getting really dark now. We're actually going to kill these warriors because I do not want them following me, following me into the actual boss fight. I'm going to use an overload to get through this faster and to help me heal up because I took quite a lot of damage and I don't want to have to eat just in case we need it for the ambassador. Ambassador is going to be a long fight for sure. I guess it'll be at least 10 minutes. Blackstone scuttlers, huh? Definitely want to be rid of them. They have a lot of health. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. I mean, that is a lot of health on this thing. A whole lot of health. Doesn't seem to do that much damage. It's hard to get a feel for that, really. Come on. Is he even attacking me? Yeah, I guess he is attacking me. It's just really not very much. Getting lost in the mess of attacks against him. Oh, he was a mini boss. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was really funny. I mean, it makes sense. 
We got all three mini bosses out of the way, I guess, assuming there's only three. If there's four, then whatever. But we killed three mini bosses, which is my goal. Now that the goal's done, we can focus solely on the ambassador. Good old Cranon. We will defeat Intero. I can just get to him. Alright, we got another thing here. Warp skeletons. Slightly stronger than normal skeletons. Uh, anything else here? Or is this it for this one? Kind of weird to have just two skeletons blocking a door. But, uh, I guess they're probably pretty strong. Come on, skeleton. Yes, okay. Continuing on is so dark. But I do not want to change the lighting. It always makes things look kind of dumb when you do that. Another warp skeleton. Okay, we got cloaked zealots coming up, so I want to pick off the skeleton first. Crap. Okay, never mind. They saw the damage happening and decided to come investigate. Not great. We want to kill these things fast. I do not have time to waste on these jerks. Alright, one more. We just have to deal with the stragglers. Okay. Glad that's okay. I really don't like those guys. They're so dangerous. Not in the sword. Trying to get a look ahead to see where the ambassador would be. Is he gonna be down there, maybe? I have no idea. Okay, yeah, I don't want to talk to my stupid bunny. If he's just here because he's simple healing, so I don't have to concentrate. Great, we got more jerks. But yeah, the boss is gonna be down there. Good. Another mini boss. Okay, so there are four. Was there always four? Is there four in the first one? I have no idea. Oh well, it's fine with me. Hand of Dagnath is getting defeated. Post haste. This one is going much easier than Orev was. I do not mind fighting this one nearly as much. He's like yelling at us from across the room. Barely hear you. You might want to speak up a little more. I don't even know who Dagnath is. And there we go. Alright, thank you for the 1k Dungeoneering tokens, though. It definitely helps out the old permanent gold accumulator fund. Which is one of my big goals. Alright, warp skeletons, gone. Now we just have some Crassian scouts between us and the old... Final boss, which I'm going to take this opportunity to really quickly glance at what happens here. So he makes some fragments that have a decent amount of health, and he makes beams. Um, hmm. I don't know. We'll just figure it out as we go. You know, what's the worst that could happen? You know, maybe me dying. Oh, look, my uh, my maximum HP has been lowered. Wonder who did that? That's kind of scary. That's problematic. It'll wear off over time, at least. But you know, worrisome going into the boss, not having my full powers. Oh well, I better get in here. I don't have time to waste. Probably gonna go into so overtime. You come to witness this great. As his gaze is turned upon this world. I feel like his to gaze would already be here. First, blessed by his black radiance. I don't know what this is about. I can understand such dreams. Come then, shed your mortal form and rejoice. That doesn't sound very fun. Okay, let's attack this thing. Okay, that was a bad idea. 
I don't know that you can kill that. That seemed like it had a lot of health. I hope these aren't permanent. But I guess we'll find out, right? Okay, there's two of them this time. Great. We are taking the damage here. Okay, so now we got the Sinister Fragments. Right, I remember this. So yeah, he spins these around and you try to attack these while not taking damage from that. And, uh, I mean, you can search through it probably, I would imagine. You can try that. Yeah, that didn't really work perfectly. That would have been 6,000 damage. So maybe not. But, um, you know. Story mode, we can just kind of tank the damage in all likelihood, so that's good. We do not want to wait too long, I think. That would be a bad idea. Definitely want to kill all the fragments as soon as possible. Come on, fragment down. Yes. Okay, continuing on to this one. Uh oh. Not good. Two fragments were reabsorbed. Now he's going to do something. Oh, that would have been 9,000 damage, just think of it. That would have been uh, more health than I currently have, thanks to whatever lowered my health. Still not entirely sure on that one. No, we're going to go stack this right here. Alright. I'm definitely taking a lot of damage from this guy. Okay, unstable black hole. We can try attacking it, but once again, I don't see any way I could do that much damage that fast, so I'm just going to stand over here and continue fighting the ambassador, you know? That was a lot of damage I just took. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Oh, great, we got a event mystery box. Isn't that exciting, guys? Stack these up, because I don't know how long they last. And I do not want to have too many things. Okay, yeah. Let's try to kill these things faster this time. We're going to ignore mechanics here. We're just going to blast these things as fast as we can. Alright, one down. Okay, maybe we can't ignore mechanics. Ow. Okay, continuing on. Oh great, we just went forward into it. That's probably not ideal. Okay, yep, there we go. Come on, we can do it. I really need to get bladed dive and stuff. Okay, you know what? There we go. What am I doing? I need to kill this one. Uh-oh. Well, he got two again. I can't seem to do much better than that. Oh well, I'm gonna do some damage. It's fine, as long as he's not like uber healing from it, I guess. Damage he's dealing to me though. I don't know the ways to avoid it, but yikes. Okay, let's go dump this over here again. I'll leave it next to it this time. I'm pretty sure they do disappear over time, but I have no idea. This is definitely a long boss fight. Oh no, we're not touching that. I guess I could, um, what's the move? I don't have it ready, whatever. What type of damage does the black hole deal? Just typeless? Yeah. Unfortunate. I was gonna think I could try to do some ability to block it or something, but... I don't have defensive abilities set up. Alright, well we're almost halfway down on his health bar. That's something. We are running out of things. Okay, well that's fine. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. They have a lot of health. I don't know if getting rid of them is worth it. They're also like almost immune, so I'm not gonna get rid of them. It's fine. Don't worry, guys. We got a free death after all, so. Like, it might be worrisome to have low health, but in reality, we should be fine. I just wish I knew what to do about these guys, if they were important. Like, if he's going to heal off of them or something. That would be good to know. Or if they're just here to tank on extra damage so that 
I can never have health. Health just not allowed today. I guess they are doing range damage. Technically, I could do this. I've not been using protection prayers throughout Be these dungeons, but... Pathetic one. You could have been magnificent. Okay. Here's Seryu. Must you fight so hard to reduce all the world? Seryu healed me up, which was nice. Are you not opinioned by your likeness? Opinions. So be it. If you will not rise, then you shall fall. Okay, so now we got a whole bunch of hands everywhere. Don't entirely know. Okay, I remember there was a thing with this. Oh man, I wish I remembered what it was though. There's like these beams coming from the hands. And you you have to like block it or something? You block all the colors or only specific ones? I do not remember at all. I mean, he's almost dead at this point. I am also almost dead. All right, we gotta stop these beams. They are not good for us. Our overload ran out. Come on, we're so close. We could just get rid of this. Come on, 82,000. We can do this. Oh, we're not blocking it. Must block. Holy cow, he did a thousand damage with 90% damage reduction. That is a scary amount of damage that he can deal. Come on. Under 50k. We can do this. We didn't do it in 45 minutes like I'd hoped, but we can do it in less than an hour was the ultimate goal. And I will go eat. Because I am hungry. Wow, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I don't entirely know what I should have done there. Probably just moved. I'm trying to tank through this and get it done. 20k. Come on. We can do 20k damage in seconds. We got it. Cannot resist. 6k, 4k, 3k, 2k, and there we go. You think this is a victory? All you have done is bought yourself a few moments of respite. His arrival is inevitable. And you will not be able to save them. Ultimately, I would say the Ambassador is a very good quest boss. Like, that, I think that is pretty much an ideal quest boss there. In terms of difficulty and stuff. Story mode Ambassador is exactly what you want. A boss that, you know, I actually have to put effort into and eat and stuff, but, you know, not one where I'm ever like, oh crap, I'm going to die and have to do the whole thing over again. This is a very good boss, I think. We got Seryu over here, who we can talk to. He helped us out, killed those guys that we couldn't kill and all that. But, uh, that's all he does. Got this event mystery box, gave us some junk. Good stuff. But yeah, so that is the third and final Elite Dungeon beaten. Now I can finally relax. We have done all those. We should be able to do Curse of the Black Stone. And, uh, I don't think it's that short of a quest, really, even with all these done, but... I don't think it's that long either. Probably like between 30 minutes and an hour. So fairly similar to the length of an actual elite dungeon. If I am correct there. Which I may or may not be. But yeah, so anyway, I'll see you guys next episode, whatever day that may be, where we will be doing the actual quest. And pretending that we're doing these throughout the quest instead of, you know, the three episodes before the quest. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!